So um, a very typical uh, problem that we see is post eczema dark circles. Now, this tends to happen actually when you're quite young. Eczema tends to take place when you're quite young. Um, you get itchy skin, uh, it's dry, you might be given a steroid cream, um, the itchiness goes, uh, and then you're left with the pigmentation. The common misconception is, oh, I was given steroid cream, it led to the hyperpigmentation, it led to my dark circles. This is actually not true. What actually happened is that the steroid cream is an anti-inflammatory cream it actually helped with the itchiness and it calmed the, the skin back down again. But because you've now irritated the skin from the eczema, your melanocytes have been triggered. And so you're left with these dark circles. Typically people come in to see us 10, 20 years later after they've had the eczema and they've had the dark circles uh, and they want to get treatment done. People who've had eczema, post eczema pigmentation actually tend to get pretty good uh, results um, after the first and second treatment. It's on the easier side of the scale to treat compared to hereditary dark circles. Hereditary dark circles require the full three sessions to get the best results. So um, from that perspective, it's actually quite good news in terms of it's, it's closer to the surface, it's a little bit easier to treat. Um, if you've got any more questions on periorbital hyperpigmentation from eczema, please do message me um, and we'll get back to you straight away.